Isaiah 57 The righteous perish, and no man lays it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the man that breaks wedlock and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth? and draw out the tongue. Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the clefts of the rocks. Among the smooth stones of the stream is your portion. They, they are your lot, even to them have you poured a drink offering? You have offered meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain have you set your bed. Even thither went you up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also and the post have you set up your remembrance. For you have discovered yourself to another than me, and are gone up. You have enlarged your bed, and cut a covenant with them. You loved their bed where you saw it. And you went to the king with ointment, and did increase your perfumes, and did send your messengers far off, and did debase yourself even unto Sheol. You are wearied in the greatness of your way, yet said you not, there is no hope. You have found the life of your hand, therefore you were not grieved. And as of whom have you been afraid or feared, that you have lied and have not remembered me, nor laid it to your heart? Have not I held my peace even of old? And you fear me not. I will declare your righteousness and death your works, for they shall not profit you. When you cry, let your companies thus deliver you, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them. But he that puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. And shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus says the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also that is of eth a contrite and humble rock. Revive the rock of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I always be wroth. For the rock should fail before me, and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth, and smote him. I hid me, and was wroth, and he went on frowardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and I will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him, and unto his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, says Yehoah, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire 
and dirt. There is no peace, says my Elohim, to the wicked.